Hey, what's going on fellow airsofters? I'm Neon Wolf here, and I'm gonna give you the rundown of my loadout. Let's do this. So the helmet I'm rocking today is just a normal helmet, but at my local airsoft place, they replaced this visor with a sick blue tinted one, and it looks incredible. And the mask itself isn't that bad, so I picked it out, it was pretty nice. Here's a quick look at it. Obviously behind the mask, I've got this standard hat here. Nothing too special about it. You can use any hat. Uh, I just found this typical black hat. I'm sure everyone has. So the vest I'm running today, um, it's just a standard vest. It's got a patch slot right up here. It's got a, another holster with a zipper here. Maybe put a grenade or extra mag or maybe a water bottle if you're really thirsty at some games. Um, it's got these stuff all the way around even got some on the back here too it's meant for like you can customize it any way you want you can add like three of these all in your front if you want it's really good i love the customization on it, it has straps and zippers on every side even on the shoulders so it can fit pretty much anyone really good vest i'd recommend getting it found this just on amazon i forget what it's called but I'm sure you can find something like that too. They're only around like $35 or something like that. So the gloves I'm wearing are these really cool tack gloves. Um, I love them a lot. They've got a lot of um, airflow and they've got really nice padding all over the knuckles and the finger area, which is really important. You get shot in the fingers a lot and that could ruin your day. You gotta make sure you definitely have finger protection especially on the knuckles and the front of your fingers. There are some gloves that uh, cut off, right, your fingertips. I don't understand the point in that, because that's literally the most important. You can shatter a fingernail without any gloves. These are only like $35 at my local airsoft place. Pretty good price for these gloves. I recommend getting them. Also, the sweater, if you're wondering, it's not any airsoft sweater or anything. It's just a sweater I found in my, um, in my closet it's pretty good though it's got a nice collar a nice turtleneck which is pretty important because you really don't want to get shot in the neck there's a few clips of people getting shot right in the neck not being able to breathe it sucks so recommend wearing long sleeve something preferably thick um, unless you're a speed softer if you're a speed softer go to Tide's channel link in the description he knows all about that stuff he's pretty great as far as pants and shoes go, they don't really matter. But I like to keep, um, so I have these tight pants. They're pretty nice. They're surprisingly thick and they work very well. I can't even feel a thing when I get shot with these on. And shoes, I just got some you know, normal shoes. Um, preferably ones that you're comfortable running in and that fit your feet well. You can buy some shoes online, like airsoft shoes, but I wouldn't recommend it. You can just use any shoes at home. Anyway, the moment we've all been waiting for. This gun. Now the gun I'm rocking is a GSG G14. You can see it right there. I love this gun so much. Also, I uh, have the, the proto sticker. That's for my helmet. But we've got the selections here. It's electric powered. Um, there's full auto. This is what it's on right now. <laughs> Safety, single fire. And what you don't see a lot on guns is Burst fire. Burst fire is pretty rare on guns. You don't find a lot. And I mean, you don't use it a lot either. So I guess that's why. As you can see, it left quite a few holes here. Uh, <laughs> I would not want to be this box right now. But anyway, if you check out my scope, uh, my scope is destroyed. I got shot a few times in the scope and I didn't have a scope protector, so it's shattered a lot. It's a real bummer too because I love the scope. It had so many different selections. You could do red or green. And the scope selections were on the back here. You can do normal dot or X or whatever you want. I'm really bummed about the scope. I'll have to get a new one and definitely a scope protector. Scope protectors are really cheap. They're like three bucks. 
these go in front of your scope right here, patch on, and <laughs> no one can shoot your scope then. Uh, would definitely recommend. Also, my mags that come with the gun are really cool. Because they can attach to each other very well with just a quick snap. Okay, well, I can't do it one-handed, so... Just believe me when I say they can snap. You can snap as many on as you want, and you can just easily just pull it out, go to the next one. It's so good. I also have this really good Falcon Tactical VS100. It's a really good suppressor. I would really recommend it for any gun. It's insane the difference between the two. Now for my gun, um, there's not much of a difference because mainly all the noise you're hearing is the click of this going back and forth. But the suppressor definitely does help a little bit. The flashlight I'm using is pretty neat. It's super bright. You can see a thing a mile away with this flashlight. I'm not exactly sure the name of it because I've got a clamp onto it and I don't really want to take it off. But it was made by uh, Light X Press. Yeah. I also got this uh, angled grip from Ty. He gave it to me since he wasn't using it. It works really well with this gun. Because it's kind of a heavier gun. Any heavier gun you have, it's really better option to go with the angled grip versus vertical grip. It's just a lot better. Now I know what you're wondering. What's the most important gear to all of Airsoft? Well, that would probably be the saw. I know, not what you're expecting, but you won't be seeing any airsoft action without one of these babies covering your barrel. These things could be found anywhere. Uh, they're always at your local airsoft place. You could buy them online too, but you definitely need this to go into any airsoft arena. Alright, so that was my airsoft loadout. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and be sure to stay tuned for the next video.